All I really ever wanted to do was make a contribution to the field. You know, it's not an ego thing for me. It's based upon you know, seeing people uh, die of cancer and seeing how tragic that disease is and wanting to make a contribution, wanting to make a difference. One of the earliest changes in a cancer cell is they have to lose the ability to communicate with the other cells around them. They want to grow uncontrollably. They don't want other cells around them to tell them to stop growing. So they grow, um, they migrate, they do whatever they want, move to distant sites in the body because they don't sense the normal signals around them anymore. They make their own signals. And so we study how these normal signals are turned off in the cancer cells and how we might be able to trick the cancer cells or, or treat them in a way that makes them think they're, they are signaling to normal cells and they stop proliferating, they stop migrating. I'm very hopeful actually because I think that um, a lot of people were studying genetic changes in tumors and clearly there are a lot of genetic changes and I'm not discounting their importance, but we focused on changes at the protein level. These are things that nobody really was focused on until the last couple of years and now people are globally looking for protein changes that's called proteomics and th that's fine but you wouldn't have even found this cleavage through those screens so this is taking the same molecules expressed in a normal cell and a cancer cell and all you're doing is basically clipping it in half and so you can't see that in any of the broad screens that have been done by most laboratories. You can only see this change on something that's called an SDS page gel where you're looking at the size of the protein changes. So it's just an untapped strategy completely for how you might detect a cancer cell. So you can only make these special reagents that detect the cleave form and not the full length form. And it's only because I studied that protein for 20 years that I would possibly know how to make that probe. So it, it's satisfying because everything that you did that led you to this point contributed to you making this observation. Once you can see these protein changes, if you can recognize a tumor, then you can kill it. And that's, that's the important advancement, I think, is, is that we have to focus on recognition and then we can deliver whatever drugs we need to those tumor cells and reduce all the side effects of chemotherapy.